Hello, everybody. You got Benjamin Diggles here, the VP of Business Development for Constellation Labs. Really excited to be sharing our NASA proposal. This is an RFP from the Department of Defense, really looking at emerging technologies, trying to solve big data and big issues within NASA. If you think about them as a, an organization, they have so many different agencies and, and different outfits that are creating data. Um, so out of the whole myriad of different problems that they're trying to solve, we, they really want to look at distributed ledger as a way to um, uh, validate data, notarize data, and really clean and understand the data that's coming into some of these, these different systems. Uh, in this case, we went after um, a very focused area called model-based systems engineering, or MBSE, if you will. Not a trivial concept, but to help make sense of it a little bit, I'm going to quickly just scroll down here to this uh, diagram that might be helpful. And I think since we have been playing really strong in the mobility space, I think that us showing kind of a, an OEM or a, a, an automobile is the best way to make sense of what model-based systems engineering is. Um, so if you think about an automobile being a full system that has a lot of different, you know, kind of subcomponents, if you will, that uh, make up the entire automobile, such as the structure, uh, behavior, dynamic performance, and even other subgroups such as, you know, the mass of the car, where it was manufactured, we're talking a lot of data inputs. And the goal of that, when you think about model-based systems engineering, is you have this whole system model, and what they want to do is take like a car model and go against a different model that has a, a, a different makeup. You know, maybe it has a, a different blend of what these systems are doing and how they're working together. And they want to collide those two models in a virtualized way to see where the efficiencies could be optimized or if there's any leakage in opportunities and so forth. Meaning, hey, is this car that's been built with all these components kind of working in an orchestration better than this one over here that's working in a different or orchestration? Fairly, fairly simple simple from that mindset. That's why you see these kind of layers here with like the check box and then the negative um, kind of minus box there. Uh, the point being is that the, the big requirement of model-based systems engineering is knowing the validation and, you know, kind of the integrity of the data that's making up all of these different components building that system. So think of it, all these little things building this this model, and then you collide one model against another to see which one um, makes the most sense. Uh, so when you think about what we bring to the table, it's not a whole lot different than artificial intelligence or machine learning um, or any kind of big data initiative that if you have crap data coming in, then it really is kind of a moot point at the end of the day. And, and they know this. This is why a lot of manual labor today is being used in model-based systems engineering kind of uh, efforts, if you will. And so what we're doing is saying, great, why don't we put that all on our chain so we're actually putting validation criteria as early to the data sources that are being collected so that we can with assurance say okay is this data what what it says it is and if it does have an issue can we use an audit trail all the way back to say okay this is where things kind of fell apart giving them the assurance that when they run these models that the output of those virtualization tests is actually accurate. Um, one of the things that I want to mention is we had to partner with um, uh, a research institute, so we're really excited uh, to um, partner with the uh, University of Illinois. Uh, so you'll see that document as well to kind of see the details of how we split things up. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing we also did with the PDF, which is fairly extensive, we're looking at a 20-page PDF that uh, has things fairly, uh, it's fairly clear how it's laid out. So those that are interested in getting to the minutia, you're, you're going to have your fill here. Uh, but those that are just kind of looking for an, uh, a high level overview, we put a cover letter, letter here that explains the document and kind of the TLDR terms, why it matters, like what's the actual proposed impact, like why, why does this matter? And then what is the DAG kind of token model that goes along with it? Like what is the importance for NASA to um, to understand our, our token model. And so with this, you know, we will be burning 10, 000, or 10 million DAG to represent a license of uh, the use of Constellation's technology. Um, but it is our goal to get NASA to find utility out of our network by getting all of that model-based systems engineering data on chain, on, on the Constellation network, which is extremely powerful when you think about the mass amount of data. And that's why Constellation is really positioning itself as the big chain block or the big data blockchain solution. I mean, I feel like a lot of other outfits are just kind of stuck in the transactional hell. Well, we're, we're really beyond that. We're looking at like, great, 
what's a really good fit that's going to require this level of validation and notarization on ch chain at scale that can be queried within real time and be used in some of these systems. So my encouragement is to go through this. We're going to be attaching a few different documents in PDF form with this uh, as far as our intentions with the University of Illinois, um, as well as um, some, some graphics that kind of explain a little bit about like what, what we're actually doing from a Skunk Works perspective. But spend some time with this and feel free to reach out if you have questions. Um, that said, this is something that we're, we're very excited about. It's a 13-month project. Um, and I think that it's going to bode very well for not only the network, but for, you know, the U.S. government. So we're very excited. And if you have any questions, let us know and feel free to, to dig in.